Hey crafty friends, it's Amanda with Pear Blossom Press and I want to show you a quick and easy way to add a tab underneath your battery so that you can mail your light up cards without the battery going dead. I was just in a live video. We were celebrating Debbie J's crafting corner reaching 4,000 subscribers. So way to go Debbie. And in that video, I told you guys I would show you how to add a tab under the battery and I completely forgot. <laughs> As I was cleaning up my desk, I found the tab and I realized my mistake. So I quickly uh, turned the camera back on and decided to show you real quick. So in that video, I was also showing you our foam tape that's really cool. It's not out yet, but it should be here soon. It's repositionable at first and it becomes permanent overnight. So I was able to pull my card apart without, you know, destroying it and starting from scratch there. <laughs> so you saw me quickly pull that apart. I've got a 5 8 inch wide strip of cardstock. I slid my battery out, put the, the the piece of cardstock in there, and then trimmed it down to roughly the correct size. I am gently using my scissors to push that battery out. You can use tweezers or whatever you'd like, but you want to be careful not to pierce the battery. Just, just gently pull it out. And then I've got that strip in my Misty, I'm going to use the word pull. This stamp has both the push and the pull stamps in it, or the stamp set, I'm sorry. Um, it's from Trinity Stamps. It's called Paper Crafting Magic. Uh, we have it on our site as well with our one lights. Um, lots of fun stuff. And I'm just going to stamp it here twice for good measure. And then I'm going to, uh, we can start putting the card back together. However, in the live video, I trim the bottom of my card base with the, you see the one light is attached to, <laughs> and that actually moved where I want my light to be because I slid the whole um, ink blended panel up a little bit. And I really wanted that light bulb, the LED, to be more toward the center of the, bul the stamped light bulb where the curly line is, just like a regular incandescent bulb would be. So you can see on my card base there, I've got a little tiny star and the word push stamped onto the, the card base. And that was helping me line it up in the first place. But again, because I trimmed my card, I wanted to move it up a little bit. I just want to move the LED up a little bit, not the word push. So I'm going to swap out that double stick tape. I want to make sure that the push button on the right side is still lined up. And I want the LED to be just a little higher than the little star I had already stamped. So I'm going to test it here. I want it up just a, a smidge higher. And again, keeping the push button lined up. And I think that works. So I'll push it down a little bit harder there. And now I want to slip that battery out again. And I'll put the, the pull tab in place. Then we can put our battery back in there. And notice the top of the battery, um, mm. the battery holder was flat when the battery isn't there. That The flat side locks it in place. Now to avoid locking the pull tab in place, we want to put a little strip of paper or release paper across the sticky part of the foam tape, just where it would go um, on top of the, the pull tab. And that way we don't lock it in place. So when your recipient gets it, they'll actually be able to pull the, the pull tab out. <laughs> uh, that's important. And I did cut it a little bit wider. That's probably three quarters of an inch or, or an inch across. It doesn't have to be precise. Just make it wider than the pull tab so that you've got some room on either side. It can kind of wiggle around. And then I will line this back up. And you can see you can't exactly read the word pull there, but I'll show you how to fix that in one second after I get it back in place here. And when I push it, the light does not come on just like we want, so it can go through the mail. And then I'll wiggle that tab, making sure that it's loose enough that the recipient can pull it out. And then I'm going to trim the uh, top of it off as flush as possible so that it still fits into my A2 envelope. And you can see that it will. And that is how you get it all set to go in the mail. And then once your recipient receives it, they'll be able to pull out the pull tab, just like this. And then they can push the button. There we go. So if you want to see how this whole card came together, I'll have a link in just a second here to the live stream video. And I've got a, a couple 
pictures here where it's a little prettier. <laughs> um, if you'd like to see the live hop from the beginning, I'll have links to that too. If you're new to the channel, feel free to click subscribe and ring that bell. And as always, my friend, thanks for watching.